Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's little extra video. So we're going to have a look at the JMA seasonal model in detail for uh, today's uh, extra little video. So we're going to be looking at uh, the weather for the next uh, three months, the, the uh, bi-budget millibar temperature and precipitation anomalies for the uh, next three months, taking us through February, March and April. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment just to say that first video of the sales are 6 a.m uk weather forecast We've got strat watch coming up for you in about an hour or so's time and uh, they're going to be live at 6 p.m we're going to have our wednesday evening live stream so if you live stream our 10 to 14 day out and uh, i shall see you a little bit later on for that one please like share and subscribe on all today's videos and content make sure to everybody for dear man make sure to the jma japanese meteorological agency for supplying uh, the charts and the data here yeah. Just say we did the uh, first season one roundup for spring 2024 at the weekend on Saturday, just gone. And we didn't include the JMA in that as well. Um, but of course, you can get a lot of invasion, get a lot of invasion from the JMA uh, model. We haven't got time to drill down in detail. So that's why we always like to take this out and have a look at it in its own terms. Right, so here we go then. Uh, starting off with February, which is month number one. So hopefully, everything. If everything is working as it should do, this is the most reliable part of the whole thing. And uh, this is quite an interesting 500 millibar height to um, if you want uh, a cold February. So you see a mid-Atlantic ridge here going up towards Greenland. By the way, this is from the Arctic, uh, the North Pole view down, so Ben just sets plain maps. So this is the North Pole uh, just here. Then we've got the wider Arctic circle around there, and then the statues are through here. Here. And uh, we're just there, by the way. UK and Ireland just there. Right, okay, so back to business. Above average height through the Atlantic going up towards Greenland. That is quite a strong blocking signal there through the North Atlantic and back into the Arctic as well. Trough of low pressure centered across much of Europe. And that should bring the wind in from a northeasterly direction there, north northeasterly through uh, February. So that could be the signal for a cold February from. Uh, uh, the JMA. Month number two is March. That one also with a strong blocking signal around Greenland and into the North Atlantic. Low pressure is to the south of it, running into the south of it. So this again could be a cold signal. February and March could both be quite cold here with winds in from the east. Of course, with this trough of low pressure to the south, coming into that cold air. There would be wintry potential. It may be the first month of the spring, but you can still get appreciably cold and snowy weather in March. And so that would imply a delayed spring, really, um, through February and even into March as well. Month number three, which is April, looks a lot better if you want something a bit warmer and drier. We see above average heights then extending up from the southwest, extending up from the Azores. And that would, I think, get wintry back into more of a southerly southwesterly so spring finally gets going in april but before that we are quite delayed with it okay so let's just have a quick look at the uh, tropical and mid latitude view then to confirm my interpretation uh, we can't see greenland iceland scandinavia the arctic all those areas off a chart up here we've had a look at that view down though so we know what's going on uk and Ireland in the top right hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it, reminder of a month number one, 500 millibar height to normally with the above average heights of blocking through the Atlantic. And if, if you can envisage Greenland and Iceland would be about uh, there. So um, the blocking extends northwards. If you come over here, you can see that trough of low pressure across many parts of Europe. And in between, we should probably be bringing the wind in from like a northeasterly, northerly to northeasterly direction so the temperature normally for february comes out slightly below average especially for more southern eastern regions most parts of europe are looking cold as well so we could be in for a rather colder than average february it is drier though if it's colder it'll tend to be drier so relatively dry month is predicted but just to our east have above average precipitation anomalies there and of course under that trough of low pressure a lot of that would be snow over on the continent as far as the mean wind direction is concerned, always a job to make out the black arrows here, but they are coming from a northeasterly direction. Uh, so that's quite interesting. That is a cold wind direction 
in uh, February. So if you start pulling in those uh, north northeast layers, uh, we're going to be in for quite a cold month of it there in February. And then uh, March takes us through to that again. 500 millibar height anomaly with a lot of blocking in the North Atlantic and where underway to high latitudes, low pressure is coming in underneath it. That should still keep winged in from an easterly type direction. Temperature anomaly is still looking a little bit cold now, which is a little bit difficult to make it out. If you squint at the screen closer, you can see that England and Wales, you know, it's just coming out ever so slightly below average. It's also quite cold over on the continent uh, again as well. Hold on. <coughs> Oh, sorry, everybody. It looks quite cold again over on the continent in March. And for precipitation, um, again, it is quite a dry sort of signal, but just for ourselves, it's wetter. So it looks like we're moving precipitation into that cold air, really, as we go into uh, March, which, which could get quite interesting, you know, if the battle lines get get drawn. So the wind direction, wind arrows uh, coming from the uh, northeast, particularly for the northern half of the to the south, we've got the southwest who's trying to tuck in. And then let's change the colour. Obviously, in between the northeast and the southwest, we're going to have weather fronts and whatnot that could produce all sorts of fun and games. So we could well be in for uh, a wintry sort of um, March there. April, as I said, looks a lot better for, from a spring perspective. So high pressure then starts building up from uh, the southwest, and that should bring up the wind from a southerly Southwesterly direction. The temperature anomaly is recovering, going slightly uh, above average there, and the precipitation anomaly looks driving average towards southern regions, maybe a little bit on the wetter side, further northwest with both southwesterlies. And you see a change in the uh, wind direction with the black arrows here, so they're starting to come up from like the south and from the southwest. So after a delayed spring, in February and March, we finally get it going and we get get spring underway when we get into April. The overall three monthly period from February to April looks like that. Uh, for the 500 millibar heights above average heights in the Atlantic. So there is a strong blocking signal there. Uh, the temperature anomaly about average. But I would think it could be cold now. If we've got February and March being that cold on average, then even with the mild April, I would have thought. We're likely to have an overall uh, colder than average sort of 60-day uh, period. But anyway, we'll, we'll see about that. And so as far as precipitation is concerned, again, a largely dry and average thing. So uh, finally, the day is over. The mean wind direction for the next three months is northeasterly. Uh, with both black arrows and that again is particularly down to February and to some degree March as well. So quite an interesting update there from the JMA season model in January. Uh, if it's right, we're going to be in for plenty more cold weather, actually, through February and March. There will be snow possibilities. April finally getting, uh, spring finally getting underway in uh, April. April finally yielding some spring. But before then, it looks like we could be a bit delayed. Remember, it's just a model, though. It's just a model forecast. So any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with big health warnings and also large pinches of salt attached. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see how it all uh, plays out. Right, so going to be back shortly with Strat Watch. Come, for, come back for that a little bit later on. And then we're live at 6pm with our uh, with our live stream, with our Wednesday evening live stream. Uh, we're live streaming 10 to 14 days, so come back for that a little bit later on. But for this one, that's all for now. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.